Hi, my name is Dr. John Diard, and I need to talk to you about how we can protect ourselves from this toxic world we live in. We have four barriers in our body to protect ourselves from the outside world. I'm talking about the, the four billion pounds of toxic chemicals dumped in the American environment every year, 60, 62 million of them are cancer causing. The new studies show that 65% of the rainfall has glyphosate or Roundup, a pesticide that kills the microbes that make the enzymes that help us digest, hard to digest food. So we watch ourselves being, forcing ourselves to take more and more foods out of our diet because we can't digest very well. And we find ourselves having the inability to detoxify the way we should. There's mercury from the coal mine plumes on every organic vegetable. So we can't avoid these toxins and we have to have a good protective barrier. We have four of such barriers. We have our skin that wraps the outside of our body. We have our lung tissue, which is also skin. Our intestinal lining, which is also skin, by the way. And we also have a, a blood-brain barrier and a cerebrospinal fluid uh, brain barrier, both which are lined with epithelium. So skin, which is epithelium, is the key protective ingredient. So that skin must remain super healthy. So let's think about that. Let's talk about skin in general for a second. I have a really beautiful article laying out the details of these four barriers. But our, our skin was evolved from the cell membrane. Think of a cell, has a membrane around it. Um, you can kill the nucleus, take it out. The cell still lives for plenty long life. It just can't reproduce. So the brains of the, of the cell wasn't the nucleus as we thought. So that's the reproductive center. The brains were in the membrane of the cell wall. And as we evolved, the, the, the cells formed communities of cells because the, the more they had a bigger cell membrane, the more awareness surface area they had, the more they could communicate, recognize the light dark cycles and adjust for the ever changing, wildly changing world we lived in. The skin did that. And that skin evolved to be the skin on our body, be the skin that lines our body here, the inner intestinal skin, the skin that lines your intestinal tract, and your blood brain barriers are also all lined by skin. Very interesting is that, that when you look at embryological development, that our brain and our central nervous system are developed from the exact same tissue as our skin from the tissue of our skin. So it's very interesting that our brains and central nervous system now, sort of the, 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 the brains of the outfit, you could say, actually evolved from the skin, which when we were evolved in the days we were just cell membranes, the cell membrane was the brains of the outfit. So there's still some remnant brains in this skin. In fact, in the intestinal skin, 95% of the cells in your body are microbial, which live on your intestinal skin. They live in your respiratory skin. They live on this skin. They like skin. And that's where they came from. And those bugs are the sort of the, the communicators of intelligence from the dirt, from the changing worlds, from the pesticides. We eat those. They send messages to our gut bugs. Those gut bugs send messages to our genetic code. So we know what's really going on. And those skin, if it's healthy, provides a protective barrier. So traditionally in Ayurveda, they would take oil, special herbalized oils. They'd massage their skin every day as part of a daily routine to protect their skin. They would do oil pulling, rinse the oil inside of their mouth to protect their mouth. It turns out that the mouth is in a total access point for bad bacteria like Streptococcus mutans, which is linked now to plaque buildup in your arteries and your brain for cognitive decline and and a host of other degenerative conditions. So the mouth is critical. So Ayurveda was all about protecting the skin. Deep breathing techniques for the lung tissue, very, very important. We now have new science that shows that some of these air pollutions, magnetites, these iron particles get into our brain tissue from our lungs, a breakdown of the lung tissue skin. How important is that? And then of course, you know, very, very important is the intestinal skin, the lining of our intestinal tract. And, you know, I think that's at Life Spa, we're all about ancient wisdom and modern science, but so much in Ayurveda, they say 85% of all disease comes from your intestinal tract, your digestion. So I've, I do everything I can to teach people how to take control of their intestinal health or digestive health. Eating seasonally, we give you free grocery lists and recipes with our three season diet challenge in your inbox for free every month to get you to eat and season, get the right bugs, in your gut at the right time, all these things we do to help 
to help reboot the digestion. I have numerous articles on how to reboot digestion. Our Colorado Cleanse to heal and repair your intestinal tract. Our four-step reboot your microbiome plan. All these strategies to help support the intestinal skin. I, in the article associated with this, I give you links to all these articles. And then, and then maybe the most important barrier of all is the blood-brain barrier and the CSF, the cerebrospinal fluid brain barrier, which, which is what we're now finding is mercury building up in your brain, these iron particles building up in your brain. Um, and, and, they, and they get through these barriers when we are inflamed, according to the science. So if our intestinal skin gets broken down because of poor digestion or overwhelming amount of stress or environmental pollutants or toxins, and those barriers in our intestinal tract break down or our lungs are overwhelmed with toxins, then these, this causes internal inflammation and, and that inflammation is linked to lymphatic congestion and if that lymph around your belly gets congested, the lymph under your skin gets congested, the lymph uh, that drains your brain to the tune of three pounds of toxic chemicals every single year out of your brain, if that gets congested, we find this inflammation is linked to the accumulation of these toxins building up in our brain chemistry. And of course, Ayurveda sort of figured that out too, and they had special techniques called nausea techniques to clean out the sagittal sinuses where they found these lymphatics in the brain that do drain the three pounds of toxic chemicals out of your brain every year. And please, don't miss that article that I wrote called nausea, which is a technique of inhaling sort of uh, medicated or herbalized oils up into your sinuses to help clean out those brain lymphatics. Now, it's called nausea, N-A-S-Y-A, nausea, sinus cleansing and emotional baggage because traditionally they re recognize that blocking of these glimpses in the brain were linked to emotional uh, traumas and, and uh, problems in, 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 in psychology. And now when they found these lymphatics in the brain three to four years ago, they found that they, since then they linked congestion to those brain lymphatics, they're called glymphatics, to anxiety, depression, cognitive decline, inflammation, infection, and autoimmune conditions. So these are the things that get screwed up when our barriers break down. So we need to have radar on our skin barrier, on our respiratory barrier, breathing techniques, pranayama techniques. So if you breathe healthy, fresh air, get out in the woods and breathe. Um, the intestinal skin, so many things we can do to support that. And then of course the blood brain and cerebrospinal fluid brain barriers are so critically important. Also breathing, nasal breathing exercise, uh, yoga, a powerful tool for that. Keeping your spine flexible helps move that CSF up and down your spine and washes your brain of these toxins. So uh, all, I believe, very important to know what the four barriers are and how and what are the strategies to keep them healthy um, so they keep you healthy. All right. Uh, thanks for listening. Please don't miss this article. This is an amazing article with some pretty amazing science to, to, to tie these four important barriers to your health. Thanks for listening. I'm Dr. John Duyard. Hi, did you like this video? Do you like our content here at Life Spa? You can subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash John Duyard right here and get this valuable content every week in your inbox. This recording is brought to you by Life Spa, where ancient Ayurvedic wisdom meets modern science. Get access to free health video newsletters by Dr. John at lifespa.com. These statements have not been evaluated by the FDA. These products are not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease.